Welcome back, everybody. Dolphin Admiral Dreadnoughts, Grumpy Grandpa Gaming, and this is episode 5 of our Austro Hungarian Legendary Campaign. So, uh, we got a few things off the bat here Convoy Battle and a Strike. And we're doing a support strike first here. So, it's the Our Light Cruiser Lens, which is our newest class, and two of our newest destroyers, actually, against the Kerch and the Bogatir from the Soviet Union. They're about 2,000 tons lighter than our current light cruiser. So these are older ships and it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. So I'm not going to hold you here for the loading screen. I'll see you on the uh, battle map. All right, we have engaged with the uh, Russian light cruisers here. And amazingly, even though they seem to be older ships, they did spot us first and they're now hiding in a smoke screen. But, uh, we're going to take our two new, uh... Why are you not moving at all? Immediately go in for a torpedo run. I'd say destroyers, but they're still... Austria-Hungary doesn't get destroyers when anybody else does. They get large torpedo boats, but, uh... I got four tubes per boat here, and a speed of 31 knots. So we're going to run right in here. Right on top of these things and having a hard time spotting them. That's not good. screen us and our light cruiser at the same time. Let's detach the two of you and you make separate runs. Tubes early. These boys are moving fast if we're not catching up with them yet. These are some fast light cruisers. And they are moving away from us. You do not want to tangle with our destroyers. That's bad. They're not even generating smoke anymore. We can't see them through our own smoke. That is terrible. It's even worse than moving at 31 knots. We are not catching up to these. Feels like we've moved further away. Kind of weird to have the volume turned up high enough. You can hear the uh, our friendly shells passing overhead. No way these things are moving at 26 knots. Actually, I gotta increase him to flank.
slowly catching up. Maybe these are not as old as I thought they were. We're about to lose our smoke screen and drive into their broadside. I think I put the shorter range fast torpedoes on here. I don't remember exactly if I did or not. And our light cruiser isn't sending shots on anymore. She can't even keep up. <laughs> this is a real running fight right now. Guns from our destroyers are doing some damage, though. There's three inches are laying into them. Yep, I did put the faster torpedoes in. Oh, still running out two times. Bogatier surrendered? Oh, I'm about to run into my own torpedoes. I was wondering where she launched them at. Oh, don't run into me. You've got to be kidding me. Commanders. And one of those torpedoes was a dud. Use the faster torpedoes as a high chance of a dud every time. Get those tube name boys passing by. Beautiful release. Boom, baby. And there she goes. I basically evaporated her with that hit. Only 2,700 points for those ships. Yeah, just under ten, nine, about nine and a half million a pop, so yeah. My light cruiser's 26 million. How the hell did these things have such a high engine speed? Holy crap. Top speed of 26.8 knots. They put a good engine into these things. That's a lot of extra weight on these light cruisers. They had to skip on the armor and armament. That's why my three inches were ripping them apart. They had these heavy ass engines and no armor. I want to hold you here for the load screen. Alrighty, back to the map. A few Russian CLs down. Now we have a coast alarm. C.A. Latha, which is actually our newest heavy cruiser. And two of our top and strudel torpedo boats going against the battleship Voltaire and the light cruiser Cosmao. 
Our heavy cruiser is only a thousand tons lighter than the battleship. Worth $51 million. Trained crew. What do I have? Trained crew. They got maximum bulkheads. Nine inch guns. So we actually have them outranged. So they do have a lot of firepower. Armor's under an inch on the CL. Thirty percent armor on the battleship. We should be able to fight this one. Let's go. So we've started the engagement against the head, uh, the battleship. Go long range. First salvo just went out. Might reload. Thirty-seven seconds. That's actually not too bad. I want to send the torpedo boats in, but we are still way too far out for me to uh, send them off on their own until we have that light cruiser spotted and the engagement range closes in a little bit more. I want to make sure their main batteries and secondaries are focused on the lathe before I send them in. That five inches are opening up. I just missed. Hmm. My five inches have a better aim than my ten inches. What's the distance now? Nine kilometers. I need you a bit closer. I know you can give me a better aim than that with those 10 inches. Seven kilometers. Come on, boys. You do better than that. Yeah, if anybody's wondering what today's battle brew is, is uh, coffee with a bit of tully in it. Boys, their shots are getting in close. Give me a better aim. Time to start sending in torpedo boats. I like cruisers back there.
Still no hits with those 11s from what I've seen. That is not good. Uh, tens. He's saying 11s, but they're tens. Here comes out that light cruiser to screen. Come on, Lathe, the land some hits, please. Thankfully, so I don't have to worry about uh, mutually sword destruction running. Alright, get out of there. Lights and out torpedo. That's probably gonna hit. Maybe it did hit. And our torpedoes ran good, but barely did any damage. Losing Tough and Strudel 63. Did no flood damage at Vault here at those torpedo hits. Damn. Boys, get out of there. Oh. Don't be duds. There we go. Beautiful hit. Engines down. Make her an easy target. Right, get the hell out. Why the hell do my tents have such a low hit chance? Just lost a 45 also. Lathan just sent out Torp and it looks like it blew as soon as it hit the water. Both of my torpedo boats for no gain so far. We gotta take this battleship down. French hotel ships. Ranger 
Imagine your torpedoes. Oh, really close. Ricochets. Come on. That's the angle we're at. We got a very bad angle. Fives are doing a good job of setting her on fire. Took out their main tower. Gotta keep circling around her. shot. Engine's still down. I haven't taken out enough of her crew yet. Stop firing that AP. Hit her with HG. He's got a burning almost everywhere. We'll keep surfing her. I'm not worried about this light cruiser at all. She's staying away from us. Whoa! <laughs> that went right between the towers. That was awesome. Got some nice screenshots right there. Ninety-eight percent chance to hit. <laughs> we completely miss on those main gunshots. Oh my god! No, no, their secondaries are coming to bear. We took out the secondaries on the other side, but not this side. Yeah, getting into knife fight range of this uh, battleship is not a good idea. Burned down already. Oh, 
Ooh. Actually got a good hit on us. Come on, take her down. It's already taken way too long. Looks like she fires better from the rear of her ship than she does from the front. They're taking down 15% of her crew. I'm not really causing much in the way of flooding, but I'm not trying to. And stay in her rear. There we go. That's the type of hit I'm looking for. Well, it seems like the more damage I cause, the more accurate she's getting. What it feels like. Losing the crew, losing her secondary guns, which doesn't take anything off of damage control. Maybe I should have stayed at her bow. She had very poor fire control at the bow. Are you in the water? Looks like it's gonna miss. And it was a dud. Come on. Seems like my secondaries are doing all the damage right now. Alright, she's finally losing float. Almost there. Keep flooding. And we just lost rudder control. I'm going to get us out of here. We've taken too much damage to go after the, uh... I don't know if I'll go 100% on damage control with the secondaries. I'm not going to bother going after the light cruiser because we have taken too much float damage. See you on the battle report screen. Alright, thankfully, right as we hit retreat, I don't, even if we went after that light cruiser, I don't think we would have gotten it as a squall came in right as we hit that retreat button. 
So, um, Lath is heavily damaged. She'll be laid up for a few months. We lost uh, two to Toffin Strudels, but that, I'm not worried about that. I'm not replacing them at all. And we took down the battleship Voltaire. So, we gained 6,141 victory points there, 979. Would have been nice to get the Cosmo also, but it is what it is. All right, we do have the one last mission. It's a destroyer and three torpedo boats against a light cruiser. Worth $7 million. Do I control this one or do I auto resolve? No, I'm going to control this one myself. This way, I make sure that light cruiser goes down. Right, we literally sailed in circles for five minutes trying to find this damn thing. <laughs> we just kept sailing past each other. It's hilarious. Ugh. It is what it is with these smaller engagements. It does happen. If I come onto this map and there was a squall on it, I would have retreated out right away and not bothered. Miss. Ah, oh well. The aggressive launch. Get aimed, damn it. Get aimed. There we go. Boom. That should put her down. Alright, the rest of you give me normal launches from wherever you're sitting at. There she goes. Nice and easy. I know if I didn't command that one myself, it would have gotten away. Only 848 points for that cruiser. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, that cleared out everything for this turn, but one of the viewers pointed out to me that I may have made a mistake on my battleship design. I'm going to be absolutely heated if that's true. And it looks like it is there. There should be... I'm seeing two turrets here. There should be three. Don't tell me I'm going to put this thing back in the dry dock as soon as it comes out. This is a 30-month build on this ship. Yeah, there's three on this side. It looks like there's only two on that side. Yep, I got the three single barrels on this side and the two double barrels on this side. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, good God. guys go away single fives right yeah about matched up. That is just plain annoying. Eh. It is what it is. Ah, I think so. 
Hopefully, because I made the change right now, it fixes it while it's con under construction. I don't want to put this thing in the dry dock as soon as it comes out. And that's if I remember to put it in a dry dock. It's got such a long turn. How many X amount of turns to build? But, uh, I'm sorry, I did not write your name down in front of me, but whoever pointed that out, thank you very much. Oh, she's only got three months left on her build. Okay. Hopefully it makes those changes before she comes out. I'll move on to the next turn and uh, see what we pick up. I'll be back with the next incident. All right, somehow the Soviets are blockading me with one battleship. So this thing's got to have a lot of tonnage on it if they're blockading me with the one battleship. Uh, I have one heavy cruiser, light cruiser, and torpedo boat in repair. So I'm sending my older heavy two lights and all of my destroyers out to ambush this battleship. Going to meet them at the same exact point. How much of a fleet do the Russians even have right now? Their logistics are back up to 25%. Mine are down to three because of the blockade. Oh, they're back up to 34 ships. They only had like nine at one point. But they only have the one battleship. It's in the next turn and uh, see if we get this fight. Well, this is something I didn't want to happen. My government signed a peace with France before we had any type of real war score against them. Ugh. What can we grab? Kerguelen Islands and the Marquesas. See if they give them to us. Give us Kerguelen Islands, all right. Would have been nice to get the Marquesas also, but it is what it is. Battleship Imperata Alexander III, 36,000 tons. Holy crap, that's a big boy. That's a brand new battleship. Three 12.4s, eight 7.4s, two 6.2, 22, 5 point. Uh, well, shit. I'm actually afraid to go up against this thing. It's got a trained crew. Bravo's got a seasoned crew. Linz has got seasoned. Vienna's got veterans. Regulars. Regular. All right, through my destroyers, I got regular crews too. Got trained crews. That's how they blockade me. They got a 36,000 ton. I think this is actually heavier than my battleship. And it's a 1907 refit. So they just refit this thing and put her into the water. That's why she's overweight. By 6,000 tons. Minus 9% on accuracy. Flash fire plus 1%. Flash fire sp spread chance almost plus one percent. We might be able to take her down by burning her down. All right, we're going into this one. See you on the other side of the load screen. All right, we're going into this with her immediately spotted, but well out of our guns' ranges. She is still get on her. 
almost 18 kilometers out. We're just going to have you follow the battle line for now. Driver, keep moving at full speed. I am actually really worried about this. But if we can get in there head on and bring the driver's broadside to bear. Everybody go HE on everything. And it's starting to take fire. And we're about to come into range with our guns. She's definitely going to try and stay out of torpedo range of us. Alright, we're close enough. Let's start moving in on her. Blank speed, please. Hopefully this is not a suicide run. I do not need to lose all my new destroyers. And they see the threat coming. Uh, I don't think I have enough whiskey for this fight. Yeah, firing the secondaries at my heavy cruiser and firing the mains at the destroyers is kind of odd. Smoke up. at a decent angle, let my armor do its work. Usually not something I'm worried about with this I am. I need to take out this battleship, bring down their army logistics, because they are running an invasion into Hungary right now, and I need to stop it. If we sink the battleship, they may just want to peace out. Their allies, the French, have already gone to a peace with us, so... Mm, smoke's going to be gone before we're in range. We haven't any hits on her yet. A couple. Take what I can get right now. I keep going by her stern. Veto detonation, nice. The fact that she's carrying torpedoes is a little worrisome. forward and one per side. Oh. Yeah, 
you get the hell out of here. What the? I didn't even see you get hit. Hopefully she can make it out. of launch. Get the hell out. You're in torpedo range, so just let them loose. There they go. The one I thought was going to strike just dudded out on us. D4, let's detach you and begin our final run. focused on the heavy cruiser. Put those torps into her. Get out. All four took her. Nice. D1. Getting your final run. Didn't do a lot of damage to her, damn. Need an aggressive launch. Get her right in the broadside. DD number four just sank. Get out. That was not a lot of damage. 451 points. Job. Turn broadside. Get your torpedoes into her, please. Just fire it out. Very good. This was a fight I should have not taken, but damn. Had to do it. The one battleship is blockading my ports. Rest of launch, please. I was about to have a bad day. They're done. Woo. Corpse out. Get out of there. Ooh! That was a beautiful hit. Keep laying into her, Drava. Actually, let's start moving you away and put the light cruisers in the battle line. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Goodbye.
Driver took some heavy damage, but it was worth it. $165 million ship down to the bottom. And all we lost was... 9.6 million destroyer. Expense for a destroyer, that actually gave them 1,500 points for that one destroyer, but we got 23,807 points out of that. I will take it. That's probably the most expensive ship in there. Obviously the most expensive ship in their fleet, but probably the most modern, too. And when do you know it? They are asking for peace. <laughs> I kind of saw that one coming. Uh, yeah, might as well peace out with them. Let's see if we get it. The Emperor Arthur Alexander. I'd say that's pretty good for a czar hunt. Uh, it doesn't look like we lost any transports. Good. And we have a battle. Heavy cruiser versus a heavy cruiser. Once again, Russian one. Same weight as us. But she's only got 6-inch guns on her. And 16 4-inch guns, huh? She's going against the Danube, which is my older uh, heavy cruiser. Which is stationed up in the Falk... Uh, not the Falklands, uh, the Shetlands. I saw this American flag here. I thought we were going to be fighting an American ship. But okay, let's jump into it. All right, we did spot her before she spotted us, but uh, we still haven't landed any hits. This does have Danube's got a regular crew in her. There go my seconds. Once those two inches have the range, they'll just rip her, burn her down. And they get a hit on me first. Oh, I'm still moving that flank. I love hearing those secondaries fire off on the broadside. It's almost like a machine gun. She's already moving into torp range. She is closing the distance. Modern hull designed to mine, but it's not going to make a difference. Already starting to get her to burn. Yeah, my two inches have a s almost 70% chance to hit. They are just ripping. There goes the broadside. I, am I wish I could modernize this design more than it is. This is a great design. They got a rudder, please. Nope. Alright. Some flooding now. Slow her down. Let's see if the torpedoes reach. One of them blew. I think we might have slowed her down too much. I don't know. Yeah, she sees the torpedoes. Like these two are gonna strike. Or maybe not. No, those are gonna right by her bow, that one's gonna ride into her. Hopefully it's not a dud. Boom! Oh, she is finished. No, I gotta keep modernizing this design as much as I can. I need to keep this thing in the fleet as long as possible. I just need to put bigger mains on her. I 
I think with the next refit, I'm going to break my own rules and make this uh, a heavier head cruiser, put some bigger guns on. Yeah, 5,200 points. How much was she worth? 35 million. All right. Around 10 million less than mine. Not the one she fought, but the new one that I built. Alright, I think that about does it for the uh, Soviet Navy. Let's take a look. Yep, dropped the logistics down by uh, 9%. They still got three heavy cruisers, seven lights, and 11 destroyers, and 12 torpedo boats in the fleet. But we, did a, we just did a lot of damage to it. That brought our army logistics back up. And one of my ships in repair. One Drava's out for four months, but she took some big hits. She's docked at Mallorca. All right. And the Charlemagne is commissioning. Hopefully, I don't have to put her right back in the dry dock. I'm probably going to have to. The Raba's 18 months out. The Thames is eight months out. Oh, and I do have to build a new destroyer. Did lose one of the new uh, vanilla kiffles. The other old five older ones are over in uh, Lorwick and the Shetlands. Well, 13 months to build her. Jeez. That's going to take forever. I need a bigger dock size. Anyway, I think it's a good place to end this episode. So, uh, once again, if you're new, if you're a return, if you're not yet subscribed, please take a moment and not subscribe. But if you do, remember that bell icon so the next video comes out. Follow along the series if you've been enjoying it. Don't forget to drop an AP shell into that like button and an HE shell onto that comment section. Help the algorithm get into our favor. Now we'll see you all in the next episode. Stay grumpy.